Hi friends! Today we're going to be going over my reading and writing planner. I am basically just using it to keep track of the things that I'm reading and keeping a tally on what I'm actually accomplishing in all of my goal videos that I made at the beginning of the year and also keeping notes for what I'm reading and keeping my readings and all of that will all be in this specific small notebook that is not my large planner. If you want to see this, stay tuned. There's a giant glare, but what you need to know is that this is the planner. It actually was this originally. I chose to go with a different cover. This cover is from a Happy Notes that actually is this paper that's in here now. But what I'm using for the journal part is actually, because I have so much crap, the old pages from the planner. So just where it has the dates at, I've been writing those out. I did took this page and put it in the front. If you were around in December, I was kind of, actually it was, I think it was November, I was kind of having a meltdown and found this in one of my stashes of ridiculous amounts of <laughs> planner things. It just kind of hit me at a time when I really needed it. And so it just has, lives in the front of this now. There are things in here that are like, that don't mean anything. Like this is half of a calendar and at some point I will put a page on there, but whatever. This is a divider as is this guy and this guy that came from the original Happy Planner notes. And so I'm using those to divide different things. I've got basically my my tracking where I'm keeping track of what I'm reading. So my read and rating, my monthly book hauls, TBR takedown stats, pre-order tracker, arc tracker, things I need to keep track of, hence the word tracker. And then the second category are like my goals. We have authors I need to read by 2021, my 2020 anticipated releases, 2020 reread project, my backlist priorities. Most of those I have videos for and I'll link in the description box below that I did at the uh, beginning of the year. And then the third one is book club books. So I've got the Wheatberry Fiction Book Club, which Wheatberry is my local bookstore. And I'm doing their fiction, their nonfiction, and their YA book clubs this year. The January book, which I read, and then the February book. And then the Wheatberry YA Book Club, which I am co-facilitating. So my pick for January was Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. That is going to be the book that... We're it's actually January, February, not just January, but you know, whatever. Wheatberry Nonfiction Book Club. I didn't read January's book, but I did pick up February's book. The AuthorTube Chat Book Club in the January, February book is A Discovery of Witches. If you're interested in joining Kate and I for the AuthorTube Chat Book Club, we are having the chat in February. I think I think it's the 22nd. I'll double check. It's one of the last couple of Saturdays of the month at 6 p.m. EST. So I will put that in the description box below if you want to um, come and chat about A Discovery of Witches with us as well as whatever else comes up. But I will leave that link below. And then this one is Beautifully Bookish Bethany's book club that I participate in. And then the Literally Deb book club, which is Kayla from Books and Lala her book club that's reading thrillers and I want to read more thrillers this year so I'm decided I'm going to do that as well. So that is basically like the planner part of the journal so that's got all of like my planner bits and pieces and then this part is the journal part. Because of having it originally be a planner there were tabs for each month so they have these dividers which are gorgeous. Part of the reason why I picked this planner and then just never used it because I didn't need a second planner and that's a whole other spiel. Actually I wouldn't have needed a third planner because I already used two but anyway let's go to one that's not got gloss on it. So this front page was the divider and then it had the month view on the back half and this was on the other side of the back of the month view so I actually just glued those together. So those are just going to be permanent dividers in the planner. Those are always going to be there and then I'm going to use the inserts from this and then once I run out of these I will switch to like the happy notes things but obviously I didn't use this planner hardly at all so I have a bunch of these that I can use. So December was where it really got together for me. So I've got my divider and then the back half of that and then what I'm doing is I'm using washi tape to separate the books that I'm reading 
and then basically just the title and then as I'm reading the book whatever thoughts I have and then I'm kind of putting my rating together at the bottom. Um, I do a six category rating system and then putting the stars at the top. So I'm trying to do different colors for different books. I guess I could show you January. January I have an even better idea I would hope of what I'm doing. One can dream. So in January I was reading several books at a time so like I've got I've actually been carrying this around with me. It has page flags in case I have the physical book with me. Sometimes I do. Whatever washi tape I'm using for the divider that month and then the pens that I'm using. So I've kind of just been carrying that around with me and so we've got the first book that I read and then I went into the second book and then that was a different color. This one I ended up using the same color that I was using over here because um, I actually started this book first and because I was putting it onto here I went back and kind of half changed the color so that I would know what I was doing. So we started a new book, finished the first the one and then went to this and then finished over here. So that's kind of why the colored pen is fairly important in this system that I'm using because I'm just kind of all over the place. But like I said, I'm just using this for taking down notes, all of my thoughts. I used to use note cards and then keep those, hi Bubby, in the <laughs> nugget. Go lay down please. I used to keep note cards in the books and have like all of my thoughts on there. But because my nieces borrow my books so often and a lot of times like I'm not home to grab the note card out and then they forget and then they kind of end up all over the place. So this is kind of a system to keep everything together and then once we hit the end of the year I will just take all of these out and um, clip them together and keep them as like a whole year and then I can reuse these because I didn't do anything to them. They're just fresh and pretty. That is my reading planner and journal. I do a few other like reading things in my actual planner itself but this is the reading planner on its own. I will be doing a video very soon about the actual planner as well. I'm going to do a plan with me and I'll go over some things in that as well so that y'all can see that. But for now, that is all I have. So back to my face. So that is all that I have for today with my lovely planner. If you have a reading planner that you use or a journal that you use, I would love to see that. If you bullet journal them, even better. I'm not quite that invested at this current moment in time, but maybe one day I'll go back to a bullet journal style, but um, I'm, I'm in love with my happy planners, so those are really working for me at the moment. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends, so if you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you subscribe, and until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!